So what is happening, guys? Guys, stay with me today. We're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna turn this into this platform for your blind. So let me start off by saying, this frame is gonna be a six by six and six feet tall is what it's gonna be. So I have two uh, four by fours that are 12 feet will be cut in half to make the four legs. <clears throat> There'll be an initial frame, six by six on the top and one on the bottom. And I'll show you that later. And then I'll have the joist that I'll make. And then we're gonna brace it off with some 45 degree braces. So, hey, let's go get started. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put my bottom frame, my top frame, and stand my legs up. Then I can get a true measurement for my joist. Should be 69 inches, but could be a little heavy, could be a little light. But let's get that done. Since these, uh, since this floor is pretty level, by putting a band around the bottom, just putting one screw, getting all the posts set, and then you put your screws in diagonally at a 45 degree angle. As you level your post here, you can get it fairly level. It won't be exact till you get the top frame on, but it'll be very, very close right here. So if you put two screws on each side, level it, tighten them up, that's gonna hold you pretty close, just a little tip until you can get it done, especially if you're working by yourself. So I'm going to get the rest of these three posts secured, then we'll move to the top frame.
but do your sides first because they're going to be flush with the front of the post. And since you got this screw here, that holds it on both ends. So you just pull it up flush and then pop a screw in. I'll just show you this one corner right here. Uh, we're going to flush it up with that one on the side. And when you're doing your corners, just put one screw in it till you get them all up, and then you can come back and screw it off. Just in case you miss something or mess something up, you can always come back and uh, take it loose really easy. Okay, so that is the frame. Now right now, since it's got one screw in it, I'm going to take the time and I'm going to square it right here. Uh, just to see how close we are. If we're pretty close, then I'll go ahead and put the joist in it before I put the 45 braces. When you go to put your 45 braces in there to brace these legs, because I'm going to have to drag this thing around, you definitely want to have these legs braced because I may turn this thing on the side, flip it back up. You want it to hold its squareness when you do that. One, two, and eighth. All right, I wouldn't believe it, but I got to tell you. One, oh, two, and eighth to this corner, and one, oh, one, and 15 16 to the other side that's close enough for government work right there uh, so i'm going to leave it alone i can brace it right here now, the next thing i'm going to do is put these uh joists in here and you remember i said earlier in the video i know the outside was 69 all of these should be 69 but i'll take the time and lay these off across here and uh put them where they need to go i'll, I'll go ahead and lay the front and the back off so it makes it easier actually putting them up there and anyway hey let's go get them cut so i'm going to take the camera down there and show you how i'm holding that joist up on the other side. I simply got some screws screwed up in at an angle. I'll zoom in so you can see it. So I can set the joist up on that screw down there and that kind of holds it in place till I can get on that other side. <clears throat> there it is. Screw in at a little bit of an angle there and that holds the joist. So I can get down there and screw it in. Oh, boom. So basically I have the frame screwed together. And I have went around and screwed off everything, all the legs, all the way around. And one of the things that I like to do is use a, uh, a construction lag. And I will put that in the top I have already pre-drilled it sometimes if it's taller I will use a lag bolt and just lag everything together but that's just a little insurance right there uh, so anyway hey let's get these things installed that ain't going nowhere
So I've never made a ladder similar to this. So what I've decided to do, this is six feet tall here. And I'll give you a close up of this as I talk. So what I elected to do, I was running short on materials. And so I had 12 foot stock. And what I did was I came, I came in here. I came in here and I decided, well, if I cut these seven feet, that's a pretty good angle you can climb. And so I just laid it on the side of the frame and then cut this angle here. And so what I'll do, it's only got one screw in it right now, just so I could put the steps, get the steps in it. And so I just got a temporary screw. So when I get it in the field, I'll take this off. When I get in the field, get this level, get the frame, get the frame back level. I'll set these steps back up against it and screw it off. And then I'll add me another two by four under here to secure that so I can walk up and down it. And basically I took my speed square for the steps and I marked it every 12 inches. It's like this, every 12 inches took my speed square and that's about 35 degrees. Uh, it's actually probably 32 and a half would be total level. But that was pretty close. So you put the speed square here, raise it up and that way uh, you can get your angle and then just screw it off on both sides. So I did make the steps about 16 inches wide. And uh, when I finish with it, I'll probably have to put a handle here so you can hold on when you're coming in and out of the stand. But having this ladder ought to be a little easier than going straight up because there is going to be a blind on top of it. And uh, anyway, hey, boom. Well, our next step will be to put the decking on top of this frame right here. And I have some of this old Trex type decking. I have some of this composite decking left over. I think in 12 or 16 foot pieces. I think they're 16 foot. And I will cut enough to cover the top of this, but I will not attach it till I get in the field because it will be entirely too heavy for me to manage this frame by myself. So I'll get all of these cut and we need to get the front of the face of the uh, stand painted. It's getting close to hunting season, so I want to get some flat black. I don't have any. I thought I did in the shop. So i got to go to Lowe's or Home Depot one and uh, get that flat black. I didn't paint it all of it before just because you won't be able to see all of this under it. So I just want to paint the faces of it with some flat black. I probably can do it with about a quarter of a paint. So anyway, next time you see me, we'll be putting this frame up actually in the field. Boom. Okay guys, so it's been a few days. I put a little bit of flat black paint on these legs. I didn't paint the entire thing because you can't see the whole thing. So anyway, we're gonna get this loaded on our trailer. And uh, I wanna tilt this thing over so when I back up to where it's going to sit, I can just lift it up and I don't have to turn it a lot in the opening that I've picked up. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to drag this thing out and we're going to get it loaded on the trailer. Then we're going to the field and put it up. Okay, so at this point, I have dug all four of these holes. That's why it's very important to leave about a foot of length on the bottom. You see, this is very unlevel. I knew it was unlevel, but I didn't think it was this bad. So 
I just took my time and I kept digging holes a little bit deeper. Uh, on this side, they're not gonna be that deep. So what I'll do is I'll just bring some dirt around the foot, make sure I get a little concrete up underneath it and around it. Uh, so the concrete will only be about four inches deep on this side, but it's gonna be pretty close to 16 on that side. <clears throat> anyway, hey, one tip. You know how to know when your depth is correct? You go to where you think you're right and then dig three inches deeper. That usually puts you right on, right on the spot. Lift it up a little bit and uh, pack the concrete in around it. And I'm gonna just leave it dry till I get ready to leave, till I finish the stand, put the decking on it. And then I'll pour some water on it and let it set up. I don't wanna pour water on it and I'm moving around cause it's not gonna set up. So let's get that done. Okay, so the next step is to take all these decking boards, put them up on top, and we'll just take, I think it's 13 of them, and uh, I've got one started on the back side, so I'll uh, just take all these, lay them up there, start from the back side, work my way to the front, and I'm not going to cut it, so if it runs over a little bit, sticks out the front side, perfectly fine. Uh, we ain't building a piano, so we're going to get started on that next. I'll try to position the camera where you can see. Not sure. I may have to put the GoPro on. So, hey, let's get started with that. Got to put the ladder on here so I can get up here. Now, my blind door is on the left side. So, I need to get this ladder attached. We get it nice and level. You see I have a mark here and there where this is going to go. And so you see the feet is uneven. So I've got to, see I even left the feet long. Hope you can see that. I, so I can dig down on this side and get these feet nice and level. So it's a nice level surface going up. So let's, all right, so I had to dig the ground out here. So that feels pretty secure there. We can, we can handle that. So we'll come on the inside here, and put us a couple of screws to hold it up nice and snug. Got the top of the deck finished. You can see it there. Got everything screwed off. So I have some indoor outdoor carpet that I'm gonna put on top of this. Because of these gaps in this decking board right here, that'll kind of prevent the scent from escaping. Plus it'll make this a little softer and a little quieter too in the blind. So let me go get that and get started. Okay guys, so we have done the basics. I put my carpet down, I set the blind up there, 
and uh, I have it secured down to the decking so it doesn't blow away. Now, it's very important, I'm gonna be sneaking up from the back side of this that we brush all this in. That is a very important aspect of your blind. I'm gonna put some camouflage on the top. At the end of the video, I'll put a little clip in there to show you exactly what it looks like. I've got my ladder on the back. Uh, it's secured. And the last thing I do, brush it in. When I finish going up on top of it, then I pour the water around these uh, into the holes where the concrete is, and we'll be finished. I always rake me a little path where I don't make any noise. And you can see how I can enter this and I use the contour of the land to get in this blind. So I'm gonna walk right up to the blind, give you a bird's eye view of what I'm gonna see when I come to this blind. Boom. Hey guys, I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Hunting and fishing is what I do. Hey, it's free to subscribe. Guys, you remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Don't forget, hit the like button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you in the field.